No, Dad, I don't think they cut me out of the show because I was too pretty. <laughs> no, I don't need you to come out and kick Mark Harmon's ass. <laughs> uh, Daddy, I gotta go. I love you. Bye. How you doing? Oh, this is such a disaster. My parents had all my relatives over. They got one of those six-foot sandwiches, and I got my brother a day pass out of rehab, and... <laughs> Now he's missing, and the sandwich is missing, and they're probably in Mexico by now. So humiliating. Hey, you still got the part. Oh, that's a huge accomplishment. Yeah, but this was supposed to be my break, okay? People were going to see me in this show, and it was going to lead to bigger things. More auditions, more parts, and none of that's going to happen. Well, honey, you only had, like, three lines. That wasn't going to happen anyway. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, come on. No, that's not what... Meant. Then what did you mean? I don't, you know, words don't always have to mean things. Uh, I think you meant that you don't believe in me. No, uh-uh. I, I might not know what I, I meant, but I know that I didn't mean that. Not this guy. Oh, no way. I want you right now to give me your 100% honest opinion. Mm. Do you think I have what it takes to really make it as an actress? Yes. So you think I'll be on TV and in movies and win awards? Honestly? Yes, honestly. I don't. How could you say that? I don't know. Yeah, I got all confused when you said honestly. Oh. <laughs> uh, look, do I think that you are talented and that you're beautiful? Of course I do. But isn't Los Angeles full of actresses who are just as talented, just as beautiful? <laughs> uh, uh, we'll come back to that. No, please, don't stop. Go on. Tell me how I'm going to be a waitress for the rest of my life. That is not what I said. Look, I think you're really good. I truly do, but this is an incredibly hard thing that you're shooting for. I mean, the odds of anyone becoming a successful actor, like a million to one. Wow, thank you. Should've let Sheldon come. <laughs> Hello. You okay? I'm on vacation. What do you think? Why are you sitting in the stairwell? Leonard told me to stay. Oh. Well, good boy. Where are you going? Ugh, a ton of errands to run. I need to make copies of my headshot, send them off to agents, and uh, sign up for a new acting class. And... Mm. Have fun. Okay. <laughs> you want to come with me? Really? <laughs> Hey, since Sheldon's not going to Comic-Con, maybe we could find a cool trio to dress up as. Mm, what if we go as the Fantastic Four and just tell people that the Invisible Girl is standing there with us? Oh, uh, and I thought our days of pretending to be with women who don't exist were over. <laughs> Gentlemen, I am one step away from securing a huge guest for my convention. Does that step include chloroform and a roll of duct tape? I don't think that will be necessary for Mr. James Earl Jones. You heard me. The voice of Darth Vader, the Lion King's dad, and FYI, the guy who says, this is CNN. <laughs> Which also sounds like Darth Vader. How are you gonna get James Earl Jones? Simple. Earlier today, he tweeted that he's looking forward to going to his favorite sushi restaurant for dinner. I googled an interview from four years ago, which was conducted in his favorite sushi restaurant. That's where he'll be. And that's where I'm going. And that's where Darth Vader's gonna pour soy sauce on your head. Sheldon, I don't care if you get scalp tickets with us or not, but please don't be creepy and go stalking this poor guy. You're gonna get in trouble. You're the ones who are going to get in trouble. You're buying non-transferable tickets, and from a stranger, no less. Not only can you get banned from Comic-Con, if caught, you could be charged with petty theft. You think about that while I'm warning James Earl Jones about the danger of posting his location on Twitter. 
Yeah, he got lucky this time. There are some weirdos out there. <laughs> bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, ba -dum. Forgot my keys. <laughs> <laughs>
talk about it? I'm not nearly drunk enough. Okay. Do you have any idea what it's like to see your mother ravaging someone? Does a brisket count? <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. That's rough. But didn't she know we were coming? No, I wanted to surprise her. What am I supposed to say to her after something like this? Well, did she see you in the window? No. Then don't say anything. I have to. How can we ever hope to have a healthy relationship if I don't tell her how disappointed I am and that I'll never forgive her? Okay, well, don't do it on the phone. No, I'm just going to tell her I'm coming so she can give that good time Charlie the heave ho. Some tough talk. I may need to cut you off. No, maybe you better. I took a pretty big sip. <laughs> Look, she's a grown woman, and your dad's been gone a long time. Maybe this is none of your business. I beg to differ. I used to live in those genitals. <laughs> now, if someone wants to move into my old room, I should at least get a boat. <laughs> Thank you again for dinner. You're welcome. Good night. Uh, it's date night. Aren't you uh, forgetting something? Oh, of course. <laughs> Did I mention the PS4 controllers light up? <laughs> no. Well, they do.